Welcome to the APS Physics Nano Ball, where football physics meet head to head. Physics is everywhere, including right here on the football field. Momentum plays a big part in any sporting event. Many people think of it as a psychological part of the game. I am about to show you how it's a real part of football. Momentum is equal to an object's mass multiplied by its velocity. Momentum can be altered by changing the mass or the velocity. Momentum can remain the same if the mass is increased and the velocity is decreased or vice versa. Let's determine the momentum of this 200 pound running back if he is moving at 18 miles per hour up the field. After converting to metric, we multiply the mass and velocity. The player's momentum is 728 kilogram meters per second. Let's add an offensive back moving in the opposite direction. He weighs 250 pounds, moving at 7 miles per hour. The collision takes place just short of the first down mark. Who will win the battle of momentum? Will he make the first down? We'll assume an inelastic collision where the players maintain contact during the tackle. The law of conservation of momentum states the amount of momentum before a collision must equal the momentum after the collision. The final momentum is derived by adding the momentum of each player. Notice the defender's velocity is in the negative direction. Our calculations give us the combined momentum. The final momentum is 389 kilogram meters per second in the direction of the ball carrier. That's a first step. This is just one example of how physics can be applied in a game of football. My example has been greatly simplified and neglected many other real world scenarios which would have affected these calculations. 